West Texas, home to cotton, sorghum, vineyards, and beef cattle, brings little rain but high winds. This panhandle area of Texas has seen record highs of drought-stricken days followed by flooding. The unpredictable weather patterns can make farming a challenge in West Texas. One way to help farmers use what Mother Nature gives them is to carefully use the water that is available. That's where the Texas Alliance for Water Conservation comes in. The TAWC helps protect Mother Nature's most valuable resource, water. We got funding to develop a project called the Texas Alliance for Water Conservation, or TAWC. And this is our outreach effort. This is like our extension effort to transmit to the producers how we can make better use of our water. We're hoping to basically to find ways to conserve that water, to be able to be more productive for the producer to remain profitable out here, but we want to extend the life of the Ogallala Aquifer. We need to conserve our, our irrigation resources. The idea of TAWC was originally born from research funded by the USDA Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education, or SARE. From that, farmers were asking how to deliver the proper amount of water to the soil to ensure profitable yields and how crops can better resist drought. Agriculture on the high plains of Texas relies greatly on the Ogallala Aquifer as a water supply. Texas Tech University and its partners received a grant from the Texas Water Development Board to create the TAWC, a demonstration program featuring innovations in crop water management that promote profitability, stewardship of the land, air, and water, and sustain the quality of life for farmers, ranchers, and their communities. Well, that, that groundwater, which is in the Ogallala Aquifer, has been declining over the years uh, because this is an aquifer that is getting almost no recharge, or very little recharge, and the irrigation coming from that uh, aquifer far exceeds the recharge rate. Therefore, the amount of water in that aquifer is declining. Now, that puts us in a position of really having to plan out how much water we have available and how we use it for agriculture. You had cotton monoculture, which of course cotton is king out here in Texas, in the high plains, and then you had the feedlot industry, so you had a very large animal industry, but there was very little integration between these two in industries. In 1997, 98, is we started out trying to integrate these pieces together. This kind of research is very large, very consumptive of resources. You don't compare very many systems ever. So we compared what we thought was typical of this area, and that was monoculture cotton as a system versus integrating cotton with forages and livestock to, to test that theory. We can use forages and grazing systems as a way to build up a renewable resource, and that is soil. And that that buildup of soil quality then is one of the techniques we use uh, then to assure that water is being efficiently used in the future. And by integrating grazing systems, uh, forage and grazing systems with, with cattle into a cropping system dominated by cotton, that the amount of water use can be reduced by 25% and still maintain the same level of profitability for the producer. The results from the research have drawn the interest of not only farmers in West Texas, but also those in other states including Nebraska and South Dakota, which also depend on water from the Ogallala Aquifer. The work we've been doing here has had some impact outside our locality. And this is brought on partly because we've been shown that to increase productivity and maintain profitability with lower and lower amounts of water input. It has application, but it's not going to look the same. It's, again, it's the principles that you learn that are transferable. You learn why the dynamics of this is happening, and then you take that information and you go over here and look at this new set of pieces, and you figure out how to put those together. As that progressed, it became more and more that everybody came on board, they saw the benefits, they saw the advantages of working together and that we were actually accomplishing something and that we were able to give the producer a product something that he needs that would benefit them and that not only would benefit the producers but actually would benefit everybody as a whole. 
The research and demonstration projects have already started to make a difference in the farming community. TAWC and SARE hosted a field day demonstrating how their methods have not only helped conserve water, but also improved soil health and forage production for cattle. So the objective of the field day was to invite producers in to let them see the type of uh, research that was being conducted uh, by Texas Tech uh, and also to be able to look, see the results and then to bring in a group of experts so producers had the opportunity to talk to them one-on-one -on -one, uh, if they had specific questions as it pertained to their operation. So we've got all of these different systems out there that we can look at as far as hard replicated research but then we can take those components, put them onto producer farms, and put them into a demonstration so that the producers can actually see them. So uh, anything that we can bring to growers that will aid them in their decision making, and each producer has different uh, opportunities, have different challenges, so there's not one single thing that fits every producer in the region. And so what we're trying to do is, is bring a variety of things uh, let producers test them and let the producers share that information with, with other growers. Soil quality, forage mixtures, pasture management, drip irrigation, and beef cattle were among the topics presented at the Forage and Livestock Field Day. Uh, what we're trying to do is aid producers in knowing uh, when to use supplemental irrigation to complement rainfall and by doing that uh, not only when to start, but when to stop and, and how much uh, water they may need to apply at any specific time. A system is an integration of the pieces, but a viable, productive, profitable system is not a combination of just any pieces you want to pick up and put together. We want to find the right pieces to put together. The TAWC hosts two field days a year, has multiple field walk demonstrations at various sites, and holds a water college at the Bayer Museum of Agriculture in Lubbock, Texas. We have very multi-path penetration through radio and printed materials and TV and uh, field days and field walks and conferences and conversations and demonstrations in the field uh, that we can show people here's how you can use the best and latest technology to get the most crop production per drop of water. The things that we're doing out there at the farm are actually directly transferable to the producer today. These are things that they can actually use on their farms uh, right now that would benefit them. So anything that we can uh, aid producers in as far as uh, being more effective and efficient with their, with their irrigation, and not just that, but total best management practices, uh, it'll benefit the entire area whether you're involved in production agriculture or not.